Hi everyone, today I'm at a press event where Hyundai has brought down all their new cars for people to test drive and today I'll be testing out the new 2022 Hyundai Bayon. So let's do a quick walk around this car and this car, believe it or not, was assembled in Izmir, Turkey and is based off the i20 platform so it is only offered in front wheel drive. Now looking at the front, you can see the DRLs are separated from the main headlights. Some people may like that, some people may not. You've got this massive aggressive grille along with the silver plate to complement that SUV style that this car has. Uh, moving around the side, you've got like these slashes, which is actually very expensive to um, make and you know, very proud that Hyundai have actually done that and gone out their way. As for the wheels, you can get 15 inches uh, up to 17 inches now we are running the 17 inch rims on this car and they do look okay i mean not the best of designs i would say coming around the back now <laughs> this is where it gets a little bit crazy now you've got these like triangular uh, tail lights with this center light as well i'll just try show up a uh, video of what that looks at night or when the brake lights are on um, also once again Feel like the reverse lights or these might be the no these are the reverse lights are separated from the main headlights as for the boots uh we need to there we go <laughs> weird way to open it bizarrely not that much space a bit disappointed with that i could imagine that does house some of the mild hybrid gobbins that the car has but yeah overall good looking car of course this is the two-tone uh paint job they've got blue and black at the top I believe it is a uh, optional lecture. I, I could imagine this car does look a little bit weird if it didn't have that feature as it does look more stance. But yeah, once again, at the rear end though, um, you've got the silver plate at the bottom to make this car look like a uh, crossover SUV um, type of thing. Weird name though, Hyundai Bayon. Not too sure why they've gone for that name, but it's hard to, uh, hard to think of because, well, hard to pronounce actually as uh, I definitely pronounced this car's name wrong when I first saw it or first saw the name. Anyway, let's move on to the interior of the car. So moving on to the interior of this car and it is a very weird um, configuration, I would say. You've got the instrument cluster and the infotainment system is connected to that. It is a 10.25 inch display. Now the seats, they're okay. I wouldn't say they hug you in completely. Um, let's just turn on the infotainment system because I want to I want to get a feel of what this is like. Nice to know there is a volume knob in this car which is great. Um, very interesting elements in the infotainment system as well because if we go back onto the home screen, click home, takes a while. No. Now we are at the uh, home screen, it took a while to get there, but you do get some like voice memo features. So you could save a voice note in this car. Not too sure if anyone will actually use that. Um, and then you've got valet mode, which um, once again, I would say is very handy. Anyway, the instrument cluster in this car is pretty snazzy. Uh, you do have, I believe you do have a couple different driver modes as well. I've just seen a wireless, not wireless, a phone charger pad there. You've got, let's go through it, sport, eco, and comfort. And just look at the animations that it gives you. That is super cool. Of course, heated seats as well. And if we go through some of the settings in the instrument cluster, you've got a compass, collision mitigation stuff, and yeah, some other stuff that shows you your battery life as well, I believe, because it is a mild hybrid. I'm not sure how many times I've actually mentioned that. There are some physical dials down here, which is great. That is what we need. More physical dials, the better. I am not a fan of um, touch sensitive stuff. And you know, clicking on infotainment systems, it's, it's not the best. I'm not used to it yet. So as for the rear seats, wow. There is quite a lot of room in the back of here. Like, look at that. Turn the light on. Like, look at that, yeah. That's a lot of headroom. Lots of knee room as well. The seats aren't really comfortable. 
you're just sitting quite upright, which is fine. You do get a USB-C or is that a USB-A port? At least we've got that. And also, this is really, this is really cool. Seatbelt holders just slot in there. Now that's pretty cool. Anyway, I think I've spoken enough about this car. Oh, one thing. The child locks are on. <laughs> Right guys, now let's go for a drive in the 2022, or well, this is a 21 Reg, Hyundai Bayon. And it is a very, uh, I wouldn't say it's like the most exciting thing to drive, don't get me wrong. It is a really good car to look at, but from the exterior, it's, uh, yeah, from the exterior, it's great. But from the interior and as a drive, I wouldn't say it's like amazing, amazing. Um, there is a lot of features, don't get me wrong. Um, heated steering wheel, I've got it on right now and it's heated up pretty quickly. We are doing about 38 mpg, which is very strange as that should be a little bit higher. And in terms of the engine, I need to touch up on that as it is the one liter three cylinder, 120 PS, so about 118 brake horsepower, um, 148 pounds for the torque, mild hybrid, gated, well mated to this six-speed manual so the manual gearbox it's all right fits into gear well don't get me wrong um does that rev match in sport mode hold on a second no it doesn't okay i'm wrong never mind this car is pretty fresh as well only done 6400 miles this is a good car but you're just stacking it up against you know the kia sonic um even the Hyundai Kona, so its own competitor, um, as they are both very similar cars. Um, you've got the, no, this is 100% rev matching. <laughs> no way. That's, no, that's got, I've got to be wrong there. Someone needs to correct me. Someone let me know in the comment section down below if I'm correct on that point. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, Citroen C3 Aircross and then the Kia Stonic. This car blows the Kia Sonic out the park 100%. If you are considering this or the Kia Sonic, go for this. As for the Citroen C3 Aircross, the new one, it is really good and it does, it's really tight between this car and that car. As for the prices, these cars are around, what, 20 to 26 grand. And this is, I believe, the ultimate, if I'm correct. And Hyundai's, I don't know why the rear camera has just randomly come on, but it's, you know, it is what it is. As for visibility, um, yeah, well, yeah, it's good. It's good, it, honestly, it's not that bad of a car. The drive modes really don't make a difference, if I'm honest. So if we go back into Eco, now it does have a hybrid motor, so it should, does it go into EV mode or not too sure? Hey, let's pull a UE. Let's see what the turning circle is like in this car. Now, I don't have long with this car. I've got to be back in like five minutes. So let's just quickly pull a massive U-turn. Hopefully no one comes flying out that corner. It'll be very bad news for me and that car. Okay, it does rev to, uh, that was a really bad shift. Ignore that, but it does rev to six and a half thousand RPM. Whoa, it's actually pretty quick, <laughs> believe it or not. Acceleration in this car, 0 to 60 in 10.4 seconds, but crikey, makes it feel like it's got a four cylinder, or does it, no, it won't have a four cylinder, it's definitely got a three cylinder underneath that bonnet there. But yeah, a lot of interesting, well, I've said interesting enough times, but it's a fun car. Anyway, I've only had 45 minutes with this car, so not a lot to do a full review, but I would love to do a full in-depth review of this car, go into its intricate details and some of its quirks, as Doug would say. Um, yeah, so sorry if this video has been short. I do apologize, guys. Um, but yeah, please do like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I will catch you in my next video. Actually, I'll just show you some of the cars. I am at a Hyundai press event. This is my first car that I'm testing out for the day. I will just do a quick, quick, uh, I'll just show you some of the cars here.
and it is a nice place. Hyundai have done a good job picking this location. Oh, now look at these cars that I'll be testing out later. You've got the Kona N, i30N uh, Fastback as they call it. What a weapon that car is. Anyway, sorry guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.